to put in a nutshell what since we're saying at that early time was that yes there are a lot of biological factors to be considered but when all is said and done the most important one is how the individual is reared so to make it simplistic if you put a child in a blue room it'll be a boy, become a boy and if you put it in a pink room it'll be a girl in the 1950s this notion of gender neutrality at birth was not a particularly radical idea. The power of nurture was already well understood, especially among mothers. Child behavior specialists like Dr. Spock convinced parents that they held the key to their child's future happiness. So when John Money suggested that an infant's gender could be changed through upbringing, People listened and believed. <laughs> 